What up, anybody, and welcome to another episode of the SVR Podcast. This is episode 34, I don't know. Uh, and today we have another road wrestler, for those who don't know, he's a part of a lot of federations, mostly known by JW and uh, YWA. So, I'm going to introduce you, his name is... I I Exilon. What's up, everybody? All right, uh, I I Exilon. So you know what you're doing, right? So basically, all I have to do with you is uh, asking you ten questions about your road wrestling experience. Um, there are two things if if you want to you to do. One, if you wanted to do longer of answering it, you know, you gotta keep it going longer. Or two. If you're tired of, you know, saying a lot of shit, whatever, um, you gotta keep it short. Okay, I'll just, um, I'll go to number one. Yeah, uh, without any ado, let's jump into it. First question, how did you get into the role wrestling career? How it went from start to now? Okay, um... Well, my role wrestling career started um, a long time ago, back in, uh, I guess, 2019, like late 2019. Uh, me and my buddy, you know, we used to um, play this small game where it was like role playing. And then he told me, why don't you try out this uh, clean game? So uh, I just, you know, I YOLO'd it, I tried it, and um, that is how I started. And to the finish, I don't think there's going to be a finish until, you know, I retire. And what I mean by when I retire, I mean it's, it's going to go all the way, all the way, you know? Which is why we're gonna ask you about that uh, later on, on eighth question. Anyway, uh, all right. next question. Who is someone you always look up to in Rolex? Okay, um, I always looked up to um, a lot of uh, elite, big, big elite superstars, like um, Isaac Mercury, um, and such other from APRW, you know, they were always, they were always like uh, idols to me, you know. All right, I mean, ASAP Mercury is one of the only ones that has been irrelevant for a long time ago. Next question. Now I know you have met a lot of superstars that had an impact. They had great experiences. And you know what something gets you in a way they will you think they had great great experiences with uh, you know achieving titles um race story in lines and best matches so the question is what is your top five greatest role wrestling superstar in your opinion by the ability skills and the enjoyment so who are these oh, um... five of them Basically. Basically, the top five um, wrestlers I looked up to was like, um, I personally think uh, number five goes to Black Delta. Black Delta was a, you know, a big friend of mine, uh, yet it was really high amount of skills, abilities, and enjoyment. Yeah, it was really cool. Now, number four, um, I guess it's, uh, it's going to be early from JW as well. You know, he is one of the best. And uh, number three... Number three is going to go to Faction Lee, the chairman of GAW. And number two, I say it's going to be um, number two is going to be Mand, Mand and Dill. You know they will share number two, and uh, the gold number one will go to uh, Pain, mostly known as Ripper Pain. Next question: What was the greatest achievement you ever achieved in World Wrestling? I know you have been going uh, these feds, but what was the greatest one you had so far? Uh, it has to be JAW. You know, it was a uh, big fed of mine. It was not really a big fed of mine, but it was um, gold in my career. So I say it is JAW because uh, I had uh, a great brain as AAC and IC. Next question. What's next for IIX Island? Well, uh, what is next is I need to train hard, uh, win some gold, and uh, much more. 
Uh, next question. Now I know that you have been in a into a dark moments where you feel like there are the definitions of them being a threat. But the question is, who is the person that has always been a threat in a raw wrestling career? That's an uh, that's an easy answer, and that's uh, Black Delta. Yeah. Why Black Delta? Well, because me and Black Delta, you know, back in JW, YWA, other feds, uh, we used to have a big rivalry for me and them, uh, me and him, actually. So, uh, you know, although we are brothers and best friends, but even though he was a rivalry, he was a rival, biggest rival in my career. Um, next question. Um, I know that a lot of people have been talked about. You get suggestions in the... You want to get improved and something, whatever. But what is the best advice you have been given by any role wrestler? When you talk about advice, you know, um, it'll go, it's a gold mine from your idol, your your friend. Uh, so my biggest advice was um, from a very very old friend of mine. His name was um, MG the Gamer. He told me to never give up, keep training, and just. Just keep going, push forward, and climb the obstacles. Next question. It might be a uh, tricky on right there, because you know sometimes when a lot of rogue wrestlers have been, you know, plan to like give up and decide to took a break from rogue wrestling and announce that they have a retirement. But the question is, they plan for a retirement? If yes, then can you tell me when and why? Well, uh, retirement, that's not in retirement is not like a, an answer for me to answer. It is um, something that will happen soon, you know. Uh, the status of my career, you know, I'm still going, you know. I say when I retire, I'm going to retire like um, when I feel like I had enough from real wrestling. So uh, the answer is uh, yes, I will retire when I. You know, not really when it's boring, but when I feel like it's not into me anymore. Next question. Now, this one is about your in real life perspective of you getting, you know, uh, these dark days. You know, sometimes you felt like you're in, you ain't like comfortable whatsoever, and then you just, you know, got, you know, feared into something that, you know, got you scared of. Well, the question is, what was your biggest fear in your life? My biggest fear, um, my biggest fear, yeah, that's just, uh, my biggest fear is when I think, and I, until now I keep thinking that Black Delta might be big cleaning me, you know. Um, uh, but in general, my biggest fear is like losing without a purpose. Okay. And the final question of the day, I know that sometimes a lot of people like to change themselves about the personality and what they could feel. I know nobody's perfect, but you know as well when sometimes when you get to the old times, um, a lot of people will complain that no matter how they're going to go in the past, um, surely they want to change themselves because they knew this is present now. So the final question is, What's the one thing you would like to change about yourself? Socially, as well. Socially, um, you know, sometimes I, I doubt a lot of people. Um, you know, I don't want to be, like, judgmental. So, that's the, the only thing I want to change about myself because it has really impacted me a lot and socially. Uh, and, yeah, so being judgmental okay uh that was it guys um uh xi if you have anything else to say about through the end can you tell me well um it's not clear much about me but uh guys if you want more um podcast videos just hit the subscribe subscribe to my man as we are and uh like this video much effort um I mean, do you have any kind of social media that people would like to follow for some reason? Well, um, I got a Twitter that I, it's like publicly known for me. 
uh, that is uh, at Rye X and Mason. And I will see you guys in the next steps.